Welcome, it's me again. This time it's about mods. What ones I use and small demonstrations. First up is Precise Node for all your maneuver node manipulation. And this is a new part in version 0.9. It saves maneuver nodes so you don't lose them when switching crafts. Here's a small example on how it works. So we set up a node and switch to another craft. Just checking that there are no nodes here. When switching back, the node is still here. Brilliant! Here I'm setting up a maneuver for Moon as an example. Do note I'm using Conics Mode 0, which I find is much easier to use when planning trips. More on that in a bit. And here is why I like Conics Mode 0. I can fiddle with the notes till I get the perfect encounter. Not that my flying will be anything near as precise though, but hey. Mode 3 is the default. It shows exactly where your orbit will go, which is nice for a visual understanding of it. Here we have set up a loop for a free return back to Kerbin. A small adjustment, and it's perfect. So here are the different conic modes. Mode 1 will show your orbit in relation to the sphere of influence entry. Mode 2 will show your orbit in relation to the sphere of influence exit. Mode 3 is the default, showing the orbit as it will play out. Mode 4 is apparently an experimental mode, blending trajectory lines relative to the local and parent body. And finally zero, my preferred one, showing the orbit in relation to the local body, which means you can zoom in and adjust the orbit much easier in my opinion. Over to conic samples. This determines how far ahead the orbit is drawn across sphere of influence genius. TripInfo will show basic information about your node, basically the same as the navball will tell you. There are also the focus buttons, to switch between your target and vessel and well, a button click I suppose. These added buttons are also very handy. You can now snap directly to the up axis, periapsis, descending or ascending node. 